everybody again. Happy holidays to you, however you may celebrate. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, and um, in part because I haven't been going to the bins. I have a problem with my lower back. And while I've been doing PT for it, and it works, I discovered yesterday that it's really the bins. It's the bending and pulling that is creating a problem with my lower back. And so I do have this amazing haul. I spent $53 and I have about $5,200 in um, comps. So I can't wait to show this to you. Let's get going. Let's not waste any time. <laughs> this is um, a dress, it's called the Hillary Linen Dress. This is from Michael Stars. And it has an original retail of about 198 buckaroos. So it's really cute. I was hoping that it would fit. I think it does. It's hard to tell at the bins sometimes. And I wanted to try this, okay, and see if these match. So let's look at this. Cashmere and cashmere. I was hoping they'd match. See, they're both slightly different colors. Can you see that? I think all of them are slightly different colors. But I just kind of wondered if you could just do a, something like this, um, <laughs> something like this, or the one I like to see now is this one. This is kind of interesting. Anyway, <laughs> these do not have um, tags on them, so I can't tell you. I do know that they are their cashmere. Kind of this boxy um, fit. And uh, no flaws, no holes. I had to run my D-pillar over them. <laughs> but my favorite color. So, so you're just kind of a boxy obviously not going with this dress so well but this super cute dress look at this lace going on here this is from wishlist and uh pretty happy with it it's a size small and but it's got elastic here and elastic here so i figured that was pretty good uh but, you know you can wear it like this which i think looks sort of fair maiden-ish how I slept the off shoulder way better. Anyway, very pretty. Has about a $75 original retail and it came in a bunch of different colors. I like this dress. This is from a brand called Simply and it's just got this nice open back. Um, pretty bare along the sides. I wouldn't recommend it if you had uh, a larger bust, but for me, Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, this is about 30 bucks. It's just an Amazon dress or thereabouts. And, but I love these. I think they're just wonderful summer staples. Isn't this cute? This is from, um, right. <laughs> I know darn well what this brand is. It's just lost in my old brain. <laughs> I do remember that the retail on it was close to two hundred dollars. So I'll tell you what the re I'll tell you what the brand Walter Baker. <laughs> Cute summer piece, right? So this dress has got a lot of potential. Unfortunately, it is not working well for me. It's, a, it's from a brand called Love Culture, and it was not a pricey dress, but it's probably a size too big for me. The, the straps are too long, and it's got this deep back, you see here with the tag. Anyway, um, 
I, I do think it would be a cute dress to wear. Maybe if I shortened the straps. Um, anyway, it's got two layers of stretchy fabric. I'm gonna try a couple of things with this skirt. Uh, this top is just a nice, easy cami. It's from BP. I didn't even look it up. I just liked the color and I liked the fit. The skirt is this awesome, very, very stretchy pencil skirt. And this is from Helmut Lang. And um, so I wanna try a couple of different things with it, but I just thought this was a nice summery way to wear it, an easy, relaxed look. But what else do I have? This super cute boxy top is from H&M. What I love is the satiny sheen to it. Um, and here's the deal with the skirt. You know, you can see the, all of the, the anything you tuck in. I, I kind of have a problem with that, but I wonder if you wore this open, more like, Don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I think that the silhouette of the skirt is kind of hard to work with right now because I haven't been wearing pencil skirts for a while. And so it's like <laughs> super cute top. This is from Joie. And it had a price point was over 200 bucks. And then these cute pants, aren't these cute? These are from a brand called Oat. And they've got this nice high rise and uh, a cropped wide leg. Super cute. Let's see what else I can put on with them. So I'm not sure I would really wear this shirt with these pants, although I'm not mad at it. <laughs> anyway, the top is so cute, isn't it? This is from Marine Layer, and it had uh, about a $128 price point. I'm gonna have to check that out. This is the Marine Layer Quinn sweater, about $128. The um, uh, Joa sweater was called the Niola, and it was about $200. So I'm gonna keep these pants on and show you a bunch of tops, all right? This was the big hit of the day. Now, I know it just looks like a cute sweatshirt, right? The thing is, the brand is MM6 Maison Margiela. And uh, all of the comps for this and similar pieces are about $500, if not higher. <laughs> and. I am pretty happy with it. Um, it's on the smaller side. I don't know if it's meant to be oversized, but I do think it's a sweet piece and I will wear it for me. Here you go if you wanna see what that label looks like. <laughs> this top is called the Theory Bernetta blouse and it had a $300 retail. I love this top from Oak and Fort, and I think that you could wear it a lot of ways. Um, it's got this asymmetrical hemline and uh, this pleated fabrication, but it's like a cotton knit sort of. I do like it a lot. I think it's cute. Um, and I think, I think I'd like to see it with just uh, high-rise jeans and uh, and maybe just cute sandals be good to go I grabbed this top it's a men's top it's from scotch and soda it actually has a hefty close to $200 retail and here's partly why it just has all of these cool kind of details look at the the uh, back the way the I guess it's a hanger thingy there. Anyway, I just think it's really a sweet piece. Um, and I think I would best, most likely wear it as a shacket. 
Who knew so many things could go with these cute pants? <laughs> this cashmere top is from Autumn Cashmere and I couldn't find the actual piece, but these run close to $300 for these tops. Pretty cute, isn't it? I sort of have a shortage of pants and so here they are again. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear this probably with um, black trousers of some sort. This is silk. It's from Vince. And I couldn't find this actual print, but isn't that pretty? Alrighty. Now we're in the free people land. Look at this. Isn't this cute? It's got that kind of a peplum with this swingy hem and then this off the shoulder cut. And I've got it paired up with a pair of Madewell shorts that have front patch pockets here. So we'll see what else I can put on with these. So the stock photos for this awesome piece from All Saints um, show this with black stuff underneath it and then black leggings. But I like it kind of more with a summer vibe like this. Um, maybe it's because it's pink. Um, and you could do a lot of stuff with it. It's just really cute with this, this uh, big oversized wrap. The style name for this is ITAT, E-TAT, I-T-A-T and it had $168 original retail. So yesterday when I tried these all on, um, I tried on so many things with these cute shorts. These are from Faherty, Faherty, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y. Um, they're the Arley short and they're about a hundred bucks. Um, I think the sweater with them is a little literal. I'm not crazy about it, but the top is an Angora and, um, cotton angora and something blend <laughs> top from Vince and see isn't this pretty it's just kind of a boxy tee and then we always love I love shorts and long sleeves <laughs> maybe it's because I live in Seattle it's like your legs don't freeze so much but Anyway, this is the Weekender sweater, and this is from Vince. It's 100% cashmere, and a $299 original retail. A um, couple other pieces. This is uh, for my husband. This is Brooks Brothers, and it is three-ply cashmere, and it is a $299 piece. Um, I have a repair to make in the seam. Easy. These are Lululemon drawstring shorts. I think they're about a size two. Can't even think about cramming myself in these. <laughs> I do have another pair though that I am gonna cram myself into. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. And then this is another gray cashmere. This is from Clan Douglas and uh, it has a small repair I need to make in the center. But this is beautiful. Both of these men's cashmere sweaters are not that cheap stuff that you find floating around. It's really nice, heavy cashmere, absolutely beautiful. And it will not pill easily. It will um, be easy to take care of. Um, this is just a men's tee. It's from Express for my hubs. Uh, I think I can uh, try on the rest in some way or another. This is gorgeous. This is from Victoria's Secret. Now I got, um, these are Spanx and they're a shiny legging. They retail for 98 bucks and I love these. They come up really nice and high and just pretty much suck it all in there. <laughs> And this is another pair, and I think they are just an Amazon brand, um, or Timu, or Shein, I don't know. But there's no name on them. I grabbed them because they've got this bit going on. 
So they are gonna be the last pair I put on because I'm gonna work out in them. <laughs> hey, you gotta be strategic about this. <laughs> couple cute tees. I love this kind of look. It's just so relaxed. It reminds me of like ocean beachy, um, west, uh, east coast, uh, main coast, salt water. <laughs> Hashtag salt water. And uh, this top is from Aritzia. And the brand is TNA, and I think it is called the Tour T. I don't know if this one's a men's or a women's. Uh, they do the same shirt for both genders, but it is incredibly soft, and I love this color. Well, I'm not quite sure how this goes together, and I'm not sure I would actually wear it this way, but I do wanna show you still these things that I got at the bin. So, um, still trying to mix and match them. It gets a little harder at the end. <laughs> I love this sweater. I love everything about it. This is from Quince. It's a ribbed cashmere sweater. Um, its original price tag was over $100. I think it was about $125 for this piece. And of course, it's cute if you unbutton uh, the bottom buttons and leave it open or go the other way. <laughs> and anyway, and then these pants, um, I decided I was gonna get them whether they fit me or not because they are uh, from Ramey Brook. Um, they are a pretty pricey, um, cargo pant, $295. The style is called Allen. And, and they're in this just burnished bronzy color. And this nice paper bag waist, cargo pockets, and a cropped hemline. I think they need some heels. And anyway, there you have these. This gorgeous crop top is labelless it has it does not have a tag but the the textile i thought was so pretty that i just had to grab it um and and i knew i would like it probably paired up with almost anything um generally this is a lot of fabric for me to wear across here to here i look sort of like a football player with a head attached <laughs> but <laughs> it's still cute and a similar piece. Did you notice I got like three pieces in this same kind of shape? <laughs> um, this is probably Amazon. The brand is Lei Wan Wang. Lei Wan Wang. And it's brand new with tags. And I've got it paired up with these super cute satin um, shorts. These are from Reformation. And uh, in the perfect world, I would like them to be a size bigger, but I think we're okay. You know, we've got plenty of room here. <laughs> and they're just a pull on silk, easy short. And I just, just really um, kind of obsessed. So super cute top. This is from the Couples. And I couldn't find a, uh, uh, I could find comps, but I couldn't find this actual piece. And a couple more that I just want to show you. This is a short sleeve cashmere top, which is just gorgeous color and uh, wearable for all kinds of things, I think. Cashmere just doesn't go out of style, at least in my life. <laughs> this is from, this tank is from Cosabella. And this isn't a pricey one. This one's probably like 50 bucks. But nice to have and super easy to wear under a blazer, things like that. And then these are like brand new in excellent shape. Vince stretch leggings. They have a $299 retail. Yippers. 
I'm like, so now I feel at home and comfortable in my own clothes I wear all the time, right? I knew by touching this shirt that it was Lululemon, but for the life of me, I could not find the label. I did eventually. It's just one of these really obscure ones that they hide. And I've got it paired up with, uh, uh, I think these are the Align Lululemons, my favorite ones. They've got nice uh, elastic through here so they don't roll down. I, I hate pulling up my leggings the, all day long. It makes me crazy. So these happen to be my size. Um, I can wear a six or an eight or a 10 in uh, the Lululemon leggings. And so it's kind of nice of them to have that nice size range, right? <laughs> so the other thing I had planned on doing today is getting a workout in and uh, blessings to you all. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll try and get uh, some more content out to you soon. Bye now. Okay, I'm back. So soon. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys how I was making this my own, okay? I am kind of really like this plaid shirt. And I've tucked the, the tee up so there's a bit of a crop. These are the same Lululemon leggings. And I'm ready to just go and hang out. I wanted to let you know that uh, you will find the style names and the suggested retail prices in the uh, video notes. So check those out and uh, leave me a comment. Say hello if you'd like. And if there's some stuff you want me to do or want me to switch up, let me know. I'm all ears. Bye now.